In this video, I'm going to explain why is 5 minus negative 2 equal to 7? Because that seems like a surprising answer for some students. So math is the study of patterns, so let's look for a pattern here. So 5 minus 3. Now we're going to go back into elementary school and we're going to say, well, 5 minus 3, you could model 5 minus 3 as putting a 0 there. 5 meant go 5 units to the right, and that puts you at 5. And then minus 3 means go backwards 3 units, backwards 3 units, and that places you at 2. So 5 minus 3 was 2. Okay, you can agree with that, because that's kind of an elementary school concept. It's something you understand, all right? So let's, let's continue this pattern, and let's see if we can find a pattern here. So 5 minus 2 is 3. Now, we're not going to draw a number line, but we could, and we would see that the answer really was 3. So 5 minus 1 is 4. 5 minus 0 is 5. Now we're getting into some iffy stuff. What the... What is this answer? 5 minus negative 1. Well, let's see if we can find a pattern up here. We can see that our numbers are always 5s at the beginning. And then we can see that the second number, the number we are subtracting, goes down by 1 every single time. 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So we're, we're finding a pattern. Now let's see if we can find a pattern in the answers. 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh yeah, it looks like it's going up by 1 every time. Which means if we were to follow the pattern, that means this answer has to be a 6. This one has to be a 7, and this one has to be an 8, and we're not even thinking about it. We just know that the pattern says so, so it must be. Now let's look down here. So this is the big one that we want to find. Why is 5 minus negative 2, 7? Well, first off, because the pattern says so. Let's see if we can figure out another way to think about it. So let's use another, another number line. So we're going to start off at 0. 5 means 5 units to the right, so a hop of 5 units placing us at the 5. Now, we know that the answer is 7. We know it. So I'm going to place this right here. There's the answer. We know the answer is 7. And we're supposed to end up there. Our number line is supposed to end up telling us the answer, which means the only way to get from 5 to 7 is to take a hop to the right of two units, which means subtracting a negative two moves us to the right. So another way to think of it, you could think of it as five subtracting a negative two, which gives us seven, is the same thing as five adding a positive two. That's kind of a cool little thing, and we're going to use this little discovery in a later video. But the big point is, why is 5 minus negative 2 7? Why can we subtract something and get a bigger answer? Two reasons. One, because the pattern says so, and over here, because the number line says so.